keep going. That's good. Don't stop. Two and a half years ago, 72-year-old Becky Hollingsworth was admitted to hospital with pneumonia. After she recovered, the coughing and shortness of breath didn't go away. Her doctor diagnosed her with post-infection asthma and put her on medication. Nobody wants to have a chronic illness. And um, it's a problem because of uh, medications that you're having to take. Uh, the cost of the medication, but also the side effects of the medication. Then, a few months later, Hollingsworth, a retired nurse, was asked to participate in a new study. A respirologist at the Ottawa Hospital was tracking 700 Canadian adults who had recently been diagnosed with asthma. The study led to some surprising results. That I don't have asthma, and that about 30% of people who are diagnosed with asthma don't have asthma. We had a suspicion that there were a lot of patients in the community. Dr. Sean Aaron is the study's lead author. He says about one-third of the patients he studied were either misdiagnosed or no longer have active asthma. He says his concern is some patients are on medication they don't need or they may have other potentially serious conditions that are being missed. Aaron says some doctors are diagnosing asthma before they do proper testing. We do that if you have a broken bone. You always get an x-ray prior to getting your leg put in a cast, but for some reason, for a serious condition like asthma or COPD, where the patient comes in short of breath, we're not confirming the diagnosis with the appropriate testing. Aaron says this simple test, called spirometry, should always be performed before an asthma diagnosis. For Becky Hollingsworth, tests revealed she had an acute lung infection, not asthma, and she's now perfectly healthy. Dr. Aaron stresses that asthma can be a deadly disease and that if patients think that they've been misdiagnosed or that their asthma is in remission, they should talk to their doctor before stopping medication. Hillary Johnstone, CBC News, Ottawa.